These acts of intimacy were capitalized on in the beautiful posters. One would think that women were constantly reclining with their big cats. A lot of them in those days wore what literally was bandmaster's uniforms. And they had epaulets on the shoulders, they had the braids across the chest, and they had capes on here and you threw part of the cape over your shoulder. And then they had the uniform pants with the stripes. And then Mabel had 26-inch uh, boots. A lot of the trainers in those days, they looked a lot alike. I think that there is a definite element of control. There is both this kind of specter of loss of control, but there's also this kind of beauty that when you are working in that cage act environment, that it's a kind of self-contained universe, that you are through hard, hard work, engaging in this relationship with these animals and just this act of being able to create this universe in which these animals will obey these commands is an extraordinarily powerful feeling. I think that the eroticism that was going on, you know, in the wrestling act and all of that, you know, it's really about marketing. And it's about the way the show wants to present the lady and her cats. You know, for her, it was satisfying her, but in an entirely different, non-sexual way.